<laughs> oh my gosh. What is your favorite characteristic about me? They've been treating the pool as their own little baby palm. Hello. We are back at home and hanging out with the puppers who have both gained maybe 10 pounds. Tucker is gigantic. And Jax is so lovey dovey. Oh, we have to take their pictures. This is their uh, three month. Well, Ugh. they're three months old yesterday, but they're 13 weeks, which I don't understand that. <laughs> first, first, Carly will show you how big Dex is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh so. Cover that. That's gross. <laughs> so, that's the baby. He's oh, he's, he's biting himself. All right, now get Tucker. Ow. <laughs> You're stuck. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's how you can tell how big they are, love. Is just hold them in your lap. I mean, look at them. <laughs> You're enormous. <laughs> he likes ear kisses now. Uh oh. He's, his face is starting to get droopy. Yeah. Like his mouth. Golden Retrievers don't get droopy faces. Their mouths do. They do? Yeah, and then they start drooling, like Cordy's dog drool. <laughs> I think someone farted. Daisy <laughs> doesn't like that. Alright, so here's how big they are. <laughs> Remember when I could rock them when we first got them? Oh my god, I think one of them farted, I swear. Do you think I can do it? <laughs> I don't know, they're so heavy. Here, put them down. This is like 40 pounds of dog. Ugh. You're not- I feel like I'm choking him. You're not cuddling him. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, they're going up. Hey! Get your picture. Look, get your picture. <laughs> down on me. Now it's Dax's turn. Show him how you lay your head down. There you go. It's still the baby. Still the baby. Out right when you came out? Uh, so in case you were wondering if the dogs like water. <laughs> they just been treating the pool. Look, they're trying to get the leaves. They've been treating the pool as their own little baby pond. Oh, they're trying to get leaves. So I would say they like water now. <laughs> Go get them, Dax. Go. He's such a baby. Then they get soaking wet, then they have to stay outside to dry. I'm not even going to bother to get them groomed when we get the other dogs oh. groomed because they just get so dirty all the time. Every Carl, every time you go swimming, they'll probably just jump in the pool. Dry your feet off. See, they know. They know. They have their towel. Yeah, dry your feet off. You can't go in the house. Tucker. Tucker. Do you know your name now? Tucker. Do you know your name? <laughs> dry your feet. Yeah, dry your feet off. He's such a good boy. They are so smart. I can't even handle it. Okay. Look at him. <laughs> Yeah, my daughter has the flu, but I don't want to give her anything too strong. She's gonna cry. This is the first time that one's ever been this sick. I feel completely helpless. Yeah. Here you go. Get your hair. Oh my god. <laughs> He's so <laughs> <laughs> His whole body is soaked. Oh my gosh. That's cool. Uh, How did he get wet? He rolled over in the water. <laughs> they come right to their towel too, love. Yep, they just stand on the towel. <laughs> we need a power dryer out there so they can just go to the power dryer and dry off. 
So guys, it is Carlo. My nose is very red and it hurts. But everyone at school today was saying how I look super dark. I may not look that dark on camera, but in person. But if you can see how tan I am right here, that's kind of how the rest of my body is. But my face doesn't tan well. Unsure why, but like me looking in the mirror right now, it looks a lot tanner than on the camera. But I think that's because the camera like color correct thing makes it look brighter. But I have to get ready for dance because I have to leave in like 15 minutes, so yeah. I lose my phone every 20 seconds and it is not very good, but what do you guys think of Billie Eilish's new album? I like some of the songs, but not all. Um, it is nice to be back home. Last night, Dander was going insane and wanted attention all night long, and I pushed her off my bed because it was like 2 in the morning, and she decided to destroy my wall and knock all of my paintings all over the place because that's just how cats are sassy like that. My eyes are looking extra blue. Actually, they look very gray today. It actually looks kind of creepy. But my nose is in a lot of pain and my arms literally are like dandruff falling off of me every 20 seconds. But I'm excited because I get to see everyone back at dance. Everyone has been on spring break and I haven't seen anyone in forever. What is your favorite characteristic about me? I just want to know. <laughs> Mine is my teeth. Not my smile, my teeth. Okay, I'm talking too much about myself, but comment down below if you went on spring break and how it went, and if you miss your friends, if you miss school. I went back to school today, and it's very blurry, but I'm going to continue talking. But we barely even did anything, and it was kind of dumb. But we don't have school tomorrow, so you know what that means, throwing a party. I'm kidding. I'm not throwing a party, but yep, don't have school tomorrow. Goodbye. All right, Chase, where are you headed? Driver's Ed. Driver's Ed, they're gonna teach you how to drive? Mm -hmm. What are they doing? Making up a bunch of crap. <laughs> Do you even know what this two weeks is about? It's not two weeks, it's three days. What? Yeah. I thought it was for two weeks. No, segment one was. So this is segment two, Driver's Ed, yeah. for three days. What what are you gonna learn? Do you have to have a certain amount of driving hours done by now? Do you? <laughs> What's that mean? Supposedly, I thought you only had to have the amount of driving hours by the time you take your driver's test. You have to have thirty by segment two, fifty by the driver's test. Oh. And I have thirty-two hours. Gotcha. And you have to have 10 night hours. And I have 12. Okay. And he is a bad wolf. What happened? Me. Where's your band aid? No, it's not. Well, what did he, why did he bite you? So we had the bone, mm -hmm. and I went to pet him, like his head, and he bit me. Why do you have a pink notebook with a silver thing around it? It's for Asha. It's the only extra notebook we had for her. You actually you have to have a whole notebook? She said bring me a notebook. And this is one that I already had for school. I'm just bringing it, I guess. <laughs> like you're going to take that many notes. <laughs> See, he is the good dog so far. He's a good boy. He never growls. He's a good boy. Look at this little piece. We already showed the dogs today, so people are probably mad that we're showing them again. But we don't care. You know what we say to those people? We say, <sighs> He doesn't growl, though. <laughs> we don't do so I have to tell you guys the situation of just what happened, because this is a pretty genius method of someone trying to commit fraud on my one of my business um, checking accounts. So last night, like about 10.30 at night, is I was pretty much already in bed trying to fall to sleep because I had been up since 4.15 a.m. to catch our flight home. Um, they're like, hey, this is your bank calling. We got a $390 charge from the Walmart in Miami, Florida 
um, or, you know, is this legit? And I'm thinking, I didn't even take my business cards with me on vacation for one, so I know I didn't lose my card. Two, no, we were not in Miami, but then, you know, sometimes you have to think, did I purchase something in Miami? You know, like I had to think about it for a second, but then they were like Walmart. And I'm like, no, I didn't buy anything. I wasn't at Walmart in Miami, Florida. So I was like, no, it's fraud. Someone's got my card number. Um, you know, apparently we need to cancel my card. So this person says, okay, I'm gonna text you a six digit code to verify you are who you, like your candy, to verify your candy. I'm gonna text you the six digit code. I'm like, okay, so I'm like, hold on, let me put you on speaker, put them on speaker. This text goes through and it says, uh, yeah. Tell them what happened to me with the bank last night. What? Did you take a walk? No. Pond walk? So anyways, then I get this text. I already put the guy on speaker, I get this text, and they did. They text me the six digit code and it says your bank, Apple Pay, mobile identification code is one, two, three, four, five, six, like the six digit code. So he wanted me to give him that code. So he obviously had my card number entered it into his Apple Pay account and was needed the six digit code so he could activate it to use it for whatever he's trying to use it for. Wow, like I'm just like, so I checked my account today. There were no like crazy charges or whatever, but I need to go in the bank and I need to cancel my card and probably get a new card. But it's gonna be such a pain because I have all this like auto pay stuff set up to it and it's just going to be such a pain so i just sat and like checked my account three different times today and i'm thinking what probably is my saving grace is when you use someone's card number you need their zip code and um and probably the three digit code thingy on the back and they don't have my address or my zip code thankfully the guy didn't ask me my address i probably would have stink and gave it to him so the crazy thing is, is he sounded legit. I mean, he was sounded professional. Like, this is so-and-so from your bank and fraud department, blah, blah, blah. It's like, wow. So, pretty crazy that I almost fell for it. I guess we're going outside to go for our pond walk with the dogs and feed our fish for the first time this spring and a lot of you guys tend to ask the question how do our fish eat in the winter they don't eat in the winter the pond freezes they stay at the bottom and they eat whatever's in the pond i guess i don't know what they eat but they stay alive it's no different than a lake that freezes over in the winter and uh that sort of thing so i sure hope the uh Pups don't try to go in after I'm whatever you're. Boy, you see him? Yeah. Oh, I only see white catfish so I far. Koi. Uh, he's down below. The the big one. He's probably can't tell you how big he is right now. Look at those catfish! Holy moly! The kids are not. We should have never put the white ones in. Because then you can see how big they are. It ain't gonna bother you. Look, there's fish in there. Look, there's fish. They're trying to get whatever's in your bucket. <laughs> this is for the fishers. <laughs> they think it's dog food. It's for the fishers. <laughs> you guys like my walking boots? <laughs> it's the new style. Gators protecting their pond. Yeah. Couple gators. There's fish here too, love. They're underneath all this stuff. Close these windows. It's cold in here. You're so cute. Tucker. Uh, we have a multimeter thing in this house. A what? Like a multimeter? Multimeter? I don't know what it's called. I don't know what that means. Something that tracks like 24 hour usage of stuff. Oh, is that for science? Mm -hmm. We did that too. No. But it should be by all the, the gas stuff on the side of the wall over there in the backyard. Why? Just I need to take a picture of it. I have to like take a picture and do something with it. Like, I don't know. 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 Like, I don't know.
Sign Just use somebody else's. Two in my sock. So guys, getting ready to go to bed. Got all the pups in their spots. Daisy and <laughs> Pippa getting your head. And then we got the peppers. We got their big barker beds here. It's kind of crazy in here. Bunch of dog beds. These guys love to lay up in our bed to go to sleep, but we gotta get them in the habit of just going to sleep on their beds now. We are signing, signing? So we are signing off for the day. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. Hope you're ready for some uh, regular non vacation vlogs. Tomorrow, Carly doesn't have school. Don't know if she told you guys that. They have state testing this week. So she gets Tuesday off and Chase gets Wednesday off. So it will be nice. We're gonna do, I'm gonna do something fun with Carly tomorrow and something fun with Chase on Wednesday. So thanks guys for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night.